is all the work I made because I used this piece. And it's called Single Choir of Gods. It was made in 1930 to 1950s, early 50s. I don't make this anymore, but um, you can find them online, eBay. And then this is good to use. It doesn't have to be a carpet, but it can be used for nice little detail. Almost anything you like to do when you have an idea to make this. Um, I'm going to show you how this thing works. See here, this is the blades. Just have to make sure that these little blades, they can be moved. See? And how I do is usually uh, the tools to sand them down a little bit. So to make this blade a little sharper. It's very hard to find all your blades. Just in this yard. And then I'm just going to wrap this up. So at this end piece, it's going to sit right in the middle. So I'm just going to hold this down. And then from this side, I'm making a right overlap from the back. And turn this around. And keep going all the way. So you just flip this all the way around. Keep your knees flat. So now, you can see here is this all wrapped up nice and clean. And then you just keep the tenure all the way. And now, you just have to beware, when you put underneath those bars of these guys, they have to make sure this needle goes over here in between. Another thing is, you want to make sure this is stays in this spot, this little lock. And put it right underneath. I'm going to get closer to possible on the edge on the right side from the guide. So this is the guide, I'm holding it. Now I have to put this underneath just to make sure that so that this way you can do hand cranking the, so the knee doesn't break. So you have to be aware to make sure this bar is in the between the empty space where you're going to sit. So you just have to do very slowly to make sure you don't want to break the needle. Another thing, what type of nail I'm using, I'm using number 14, or you can use the 12. But I prefer to use 14, so it's to give it a nice little thicker. All right, so I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to say it's to sew. So I'm going to continue to sew. And it'll be nice and smooth, and then just don't wash this out. Just try to have patience. So once you get there. Now once I get up there, make sure all this stuff is out of the way. Now I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to pull this bar out a little bit. And I'm going to keep the tino to wrap like this. So the tino to wrap. Up and make sure it's the perfect straight line. Let me just see. Now I'll put the foot down and then the tin yourself. So, here this is the blade that's on it that I told you earlier. So, now when you do is you pull this. Okay, now you get a nice cut. So, it'll be on as, as a carpet. So now I'm going to continue to wrap this up like this. Go all the way. You don't have to pull too much, not too hard, not too loose. Just a nice sperm to wrap this around on the guards.
Nisha how you make a carpet nice and fluffy. And I you just have to do the mess over and over. Alright, so thank you for watching. Have a good day.